and ever wondered what happened in the wild world of crypto last week, well, buckle up because there were quite a few interesting updates. Let's dive in. Uh, first off, Bitget Wallet, formerly known as BitKeep, revealed plans to introduce its very own governance token called BWB. With over 19 million users in the Asia-Pacific region, they get set to have a four-way six or six components. This aims to enhance its ecosystem and expand its user base even further. Users will soon be able to participate in a six-week BWB points campaign, earn points, and join an initial exchange offering around May or June. Just after the announcement, though, BitGet faced a brief service disruption due to an overwhelming number of users' rushes to sign up. But hey, nothing a little technical magic couldn't fix. Uh, now imagine having your taxes done seamlessly just by connecting your MetaMask account to another platform. Sounds pretty great, huh? That's exactly what happened when MetaMask joined forces with Ucoin Ledger, a nifty tool helping folks calculate and report their crypto taxes. By linking these two services, users can effortlessly transfer their transaction histories onto CoinLedger's system, saving time and reducing headaches galore. What a relief. Over in Europe, OKX decided to stop supporting USDT trading pairs for EU and EEA users. Apparently, this came as preparations are underway for upcoming EU regulations requiring stable coin issuers to secure licenses from electronic money institutions. Fear not, though, EU-based users still have access to USDT on OKX for other transactions like depositing, withdrawing, and swapping currencies. In courtroom news, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission got hit with sanctions by a U.S. district judge for acting inappropriately towards crypto firm DebtBox. It seems the SEC might need a lesson in playing nice. Meanwhile, Genesis agreed to settle with the SEC for $21 million dollars regarding allegedly unregistered security offerings involving Gemini Earn. Lesson learned, hopefully. And uh, oopsie daisy, you know. A Solana meme coin named Slurf had quite the mishap recently. One of the devs mistakenly burned a huge chunk of its token supply, resulting in a whopping $10 million disappearing into thin air. But don't worry too much, the remaining token saw a surprising value boost afterward. So, Maybe there's hope yet for Slurf enthusiasts. And wrapping up our list, Sequence teamed up with Google Cloud to simplify developing blockchain-based games. Developers can now utilize Sequence Builder within Google Cloud, enabling easy integration of Web3 features into their projects. Uh, and so there you have it, my curious friend. Quite a roller coaster ride in the realm of crypto lately. Keep exploring, stay informed, and remember fortune favors the bold. With that said, thanks for watching, and until next time.